This is this is not our doing. We're not going to get whatsoever at all. We need the Israelites. I believe what the Bible says that I need is, is the month of Aviva. And that's in March, Passover. So this is not our new year. The week is the day it's week. It's not our new year. But if you want to share Bible thoughts, I thought I would give you that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we was actually just want to share a bit of Bible thought. How um, the Bible can help us with so many things. It's Ephesians 4.24. If I can share that with you. Go ahead. I, I know it. Well, go ahead. Okay. Ephesians 4.24. And it says, you should put on the new personality, which I was created according to God's will, and true righteousness and royalty. And then you're a man of the Bible. And... This scripture really shows how the Bible can help us put on a new personality. So when we're you know, fixing our, the things and imperfections we have, so we put on a new personality to be a better person and draw closer to God. And that's the scripture that we was, I was sharing with our neighbors today. And one of the articles I was bringing out, was leaving with our neighbors, is this article. Well, this we're not able to, to accept anything that's not, you know, we just... I heard the book, you know what I'm saying? That's, okay. what, that's what we're more interested in is, is in the Word and okay. proving it line upon line, precept on precept. I understand your religion. I understand where you guys' perspective is. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing I want to just leave with you so that you can know is that the Bible wasn't written or given to Christians. It wasn't written to Jehovah's Witnesses, Baptists, Apostolic, and any flavor of Christianity. You guys consider yourselves Christian, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. The Bible was a, it's, it's a Hebrew book. Is written to Hebrews, for Hebrews, by Hebrews, in every nation uh, from the beginning all the way to the end. Uh, Abraham was a Hebrew. David was a Hebrew. Uh, Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, was all Hebrews. Paul, the apostle that you just quoted in Ephesians, was a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he said he was circumcised on the eighth day from the tribe of Benjamin. So when we look at the Bible from the glance or the, the lens of Christianity, we sort of get it all, you know, we get it uh, uh, looked at from a different perspective. So what we have to understand and know is that it's a Hebraic book. It's for Hebrews by Hebrews. And both of y'all don't realize that y'all are Hebrews. Uh, you don't know that yet because you've been, just like I was, you've been uh, taught by the precepts and the traditions of men. And because you've been taught by them, you have a certain glasses on that you're looking through that you really don't understand or perceive who you are. That's what you always have to start with. Start with who you are first. You're not a Jehovah Witness. You're not a Christian. But who is your nation? What is your nationality? Who are you, really? Because they stole our identity. And that Bible talks about people who would go into slavery and they would lose their history, their heritage, and their culture. And they would worship wood and stone. So I want y'all to think about that long and hard. Who you are. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Do you feel like the Bible benefits for everybody? Well, I believe the, the, the Bible, again, it's a Hebraic book, and it's dealing with a well, family. Well, it's dealing with it's, a family. Okay, we say the Hebrew. The Bible is, was written in Hebrew and in Greek scriptures. So do you, I feel, I'm passing that, do you feel like the, everybody, not just Hebrew, can benefit from the Bible? Well, that's, that's a matter of perspective, because most people won't do what Hebrews do in order to get the benefits from what the book says. Like there's different people that you tell them, hey, Christmas is, is Jeremiah chapter 10, right? Y'all don't celebrate Christmas, correct? No. Now, you will tell people not to do that, right? <laughs> that it's in the Bible not to do it. No, we don't, that, we don't tell people um, tell people what they well, well I, I put it like this. The Bible doesn't support Christmas. Right. Okay, so in order for you to get the benefit mm -hmm. of what the book says, then that means you have to do what the Hebrews did. And the Bible says, learn not the way of the heathen. So the only way they're going to get the benefit is if they do what the Hebrews did, not learn the way of the heathen. So that's to answer your question, does the Bible benefit would it benefit everybody? Absolutely it would. Mm -hmm. But most people, the majority, will not do what the Bible says. The Bible says remember the Sabbath day. That's a commandment to keep it holy. People think that the Sabbath day is Sunday, and it's not. It's the seventh day, and it's never changed, never been repealed. Christ never said it's been done away with. But the, the, there's a, a religion that teaches that. So the only way to get the benefit 
of what the book says is you have to do what the book says. You know what? I see your point. Well, what about things? You see how the world is they're stealing, it's killing, it's dishonesty. Breaking the all commandments. Things. Yeah, I see all, all those that. things, right? Yep. All those things. Like the scripture says, put on the new personality. And the way to put on the new personality is read the Bible. But no, that's not what it says. It well, says put on the new man that's renewed or created after Jesus Christ, 